Welcome to our lecture online. So here's another example of how to do a transformation in three dimensions. And we have the XYZ axis, the original XYZ axis in black. And notice that we need to find the transformation matrices for these two transformations. We're going to rotate about the line from the origin to the point 111. So it sticks out at an angle. And in the first time, we're going to go counterclockwise. That's the example right here. So we take the whole, um, the whole uh, XYZ axis, axis and we rotate them 120 degrees. It turns out because we're doing it about a line that's sticking out at an angle from the origin, 120 degree rotation will put the X axis where the Y axis was. So Y now becomes the new X prime axis. It will put the Y axis where the Z axis was. So Z now becomes the Y prime axis. It will put the Z axis where the X axis was. So X equals Z prime axis. So 120 degree rotation about this line over here will, will take all the axes and put them in the new axis locations like that. So that should be a fairly easy transformation. So, if we're going to let Rx prime right here equal the y-axis, then we need to have something in here that will multiply this times this to give us this. So, how can we do that? So, we want Rx prime to be equal to Ry. So, we can do that by plugging something in here. So, we want to multiply 0 times Rx, we want to multiply Ry times 1, and we want to multiply Rz times 0. Notice when I multiply 0 times Rx, I get 0. 1 times Ry, I get Ry. 0 times Rz, I get 0. So I get 1 times Ry equals R prime, Rx prime. So X prime equals Y, which will allow us to do that. Next, we want, uh, let's see, Ry prime to be equal to Z. So here we're going to need a 0, a 0, and a 1, 0, 0, 1, because Rx times 0 is 0, Ry times 0 is 0, and Rz times 1 is Rz, so Rz will become equal to Ry prime, Z equals Y prime. And finally, I need a 1 over here and a 0 and a 0, because 1 times Rx plus 0 plus 0 will give me r prime z. So x equals z prime, and so I get the proper transformation like that. And that's when I rotate in a counterclockwise direction. If I now want to rotate everything in a clockwise direction by 120 degrees, then the y-axis will now come over here, so the y prime will now equal x. The z-axis will rotate over here, so y will be z prime, and the x-axis will rotate it over here, so z will be x prime. So what do I need here? Well, let me finish that here like that. So first of all, r prime x, x prime needs to be z. So I need a 1 over here and 0 and 0. So 0 times this plus 0 times this plus 1 times rz will become my new r prime x. So z becomes x prime. Then I want the next one here, I want r y prime to be x. So I need a 1 here, a 0 and a 0. So rx plus 0 plus 0 gives me r y prime x equals y prime. And finally, let's see, I want the rz to be equal to, uh, let z prime to be equal to what? z prime to be equal to y, so I need a 1 there, a 0, and a 0. So 0 plus ry plus 0 gives me rz prime, so y gives me z prime, that will be fine as well. So these are the two transformation matrices that will allow me to rotate the xyz coordinate system 120 degrees about the point about the line that goes from the origin to the point 111 at an angle outwards when I rotate 120 degrees counterclockwise and when I rotate 120 degrees clockwise. And there's some nice simple examples to see how we can come up with transformation matrices, transformation matrices to, that, to do that kind of rotation. And that is how it's done. That's good for today. Call it quits. All right. That's enough for today then. Thank you.